Hello ladies and gentlemen, Deja Vu here, and I am bringing you a blast from the past homage to July Zerg from 2005. This is from uh, the OSL that year, July Zerg taking on Good Friend in the finals in a best of five series. And I am here with a guest commentator, Storzerg, who as you can tell by his name, is definitely a huge fan of July Zerg, as am I. And he's a, he's a quality player, about a C minus C ranked player. He's always on the forums of Team Liquid, SC2GG, on the vents. He's a very active member of the community. And he said he wanted to cast this game with me, so I definitely am bringing him along here. And uh, I'm going to pass the mic over to him, let him give him some of his thoughts on July Zerg, his fandom, why he wanted to do this series, and uh, things like that. Go for it, Star. Hey, uh, just like to say a few things. For one, July Zerg is, I guess, the player that got me into professional esports. And he is just a beast. Not much to say besides that, yeah. He's a beast. I don't recognize that uniform for July. What what team is he on at this point? I want to say it's NBC Hero right now before the name change, but I'm probably wrong. Okay, I mean, I know a good friend here is definitely on Pantech. I can't remember whether they changed to something or if they just disbanded completely, but I remember they were definitely an older team that did pretty well, if I remember, in the early stages of uh, Pro League and everything. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's hard to say right now since it's been so long, and I got into esports kind of after July Zerg era, and I guess a lot of these eras. Oh, so you're in the same boat as I am, because I think I started watching, I remember when I started watching in 2007, I started following esports the exact week where Stork lost both an OSL and an MSL in the same week, and I, like, I started watching and I just saw Stork over and over again, and I felt so terrible for him, because he got two silvers in a row, and everyone was saying how he had gotten silver a bunch of times before, and I was just like, oh man, what a poor kid, you know, after uh, going through all that and not able to do much of anything. Yeah, he lost to Flash both times, if I recall, right? Oh, I don't even remember who he lost to those games, but here we go, we are getting um, started here. This game is going to be played on Forte, one of the old maps that, you know, I don't know, I don't know it very much at all. According to uh, Team Liquid, it's slightly Zerg favored, but it is so close that it's hard to even say. We're gonna, it's a four-player map starting out in the corners, and uh, July Zerg's gonna start out in the bottom left in teal, and good friend's going to be in the bottom right in purple. And I'm sorry about the video quality, but this uh, videos from this old, you can't really get them in any better quality. So uh, you'll just have to bear through it as we will do the same. Yeah, so the interesting part of these maps, or this map in particular, is the main is so tiny. As you can see, you really don't have much room to build. The ramp is, you know, only a few you know, feet away from your starting building and your natural expansion is actually quite a bit away from your, I guess, from your ramp and from, I guess, the entrance to the rest of the map. So it makes for a lot of unconventional styles of play as well. Yeah, I'm definitely noticing that as well. That's got to be a, a, I mean, the base size definitely has to be at least slightly favored towards Zerg just because they don't need as much many buildings, don't need as much space here. And it looks like July Zerg's going for a 9 pool, I believe that was. And, um, yeah, whereas a Terran player is definitely going to have to push out, going to have to take his natural expansion for um, Good Friend. That will be at the 3 o'clock position, and just in order, and he'll have to protect in secondary choke as well in order to really find room for his barracks, I would assume, at this point, because I'm guessing that there wasn't a mech build this in uh, 2005, at least not an effective one. No, no, mech, mech is far away from now. But yes, Terran is going to scout July right, right away. He's scouting to see if that expansion is up, but it's not. Because July opted for the overpool into Tendrone, it seems. Yeah, looks fine so far. And uh, July actually scouting in the wrong direction. He saw that SCV, which was kind of odd that he decided to end up going to the top left. I guess he misread the pathing or something. And uh, Good Friend's actually going to force that SCV up the ramp, pushing that um, that drone out of the way. And now we're seeing two barracks going down for for Good Friend. And I think that this is hilarious because the old style games. I I know that everyone says that they were a lot faster, a lot more early pushes. And I remember hearing that like Terran versus Zerg, you saw a lot more bunker rushes and things like that. But you know, uh, watching so much modern TVZ, you just don't see it. Like you hear about it, but you just don't see it as much. 
So I'm kind of excited to see this. I'm hoping he goes for like one of these old school bunker rushes. Could be pretty cool. Yeah, see one of these uh, fan posters. Or, oh, right in front of July's uh, computer. Path to victory. Actually, July kept that drone up there for his uh, expansion. Not going for his natural, because his natural is actually quite hard to play safe. Yeah, July's are being a sneaky, crafty little man. Well, crafty player over there and taking that, that hidden base. I don't think... um. Good friend really has any idea this is going. I, I didn't get to see a scout. I don't know if he's gone to the natural yet and really been able to scout that out. I don't think he has. And um, Jalizik's really hiding that pretty well here. And he's sending out a few more drones as well. I don't know if that's like a drone transfer. I don't even know if you would bother with a drone transfer with that long um, travel time. And we're getting another poster. I guess this is Good Friend's self-proclamation poster. And I can't even read that. I don't know if you saw that. I could I could not read that in this video call. No, I could not. Uh, actually, I think why July took that base was because it's a lot easier to defend with lurkers, and I think he's going to open with a, a lurker tech. Since, yeah, it's just so hard on this map to get, I guess, your natural. Because, I mean, as you can see, I guess, on the mini map, July's natural is, you know, a good bit north, and then the entrance is nowhere even close to the natural. So you'd really have to make a third hatchery at your entrance to sunk that up to save to protect your natural or you'd have to put sunkens at both your natural and your main you know what's also pretty cool is that um just looking at the bases again once that creep starts going for that hatchery at the top left you can't even throw down a bunker over there same with the with the bottom left with july's starting position there's no place to throw down any buildings or do any sort of real rush there at all and uh, whereas at the natural, there's definitely going to be a, uh, a lot more room to do that. We saw the lair going up as well for July Zerg and a creep colony, or sunken colony also there as well. So uh, he was getting ready just in case that there was a little bit of a rush from Goodfriend. And this is kind of a, a change that you see from, from modern TVZ. Goodfriend going for those two racks rather than today where you would just go one rack straight into CC. And uh, because of those two racks, I mean, today we would say that he's got to push out and do something. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know what this old school strategy was, whether or not he's really going to... Uh, need to do a lot of damage or whatnot. He is pushing out now with uh, Marines and a couple fire bats and, and his medics as well. And he's going to force July Zerg to, uh, to back off with his Zerglings at least. It looks like he might just be clearing away to get some room to breathe, go get that uh, his natural expansion up as well, put a little bit of early pressure on that sort of thing. And Aspire going down as well for July Zerg at the top left. Pretty hidden, hidden spot there. And it's going to be tough for a good friend to even like, scan that out and figure out what, exactly what's coming his way. Yeah, because in order to scan that, you have to have some idea where that extra base might be. Though, good friend probably has a good idea that uh, another base is up and running, since it'd be 